became interested in this particular site all oh, many many years ago I think Far my old man was actually a sailor you see and uh, living here in Gloucestershire we'd originally hailed from the northeast living here in Gloucestershire um, it was a natural attraction sharpness docks on uh, well more times than I care to imagine my father brought us down here as children and we wandered aimlessly around the docks for for hour upon hour as kids we didn't really appreciate it we were often dragged down here but nevertheless sitting watching for hours the ships coming and going and it was as a result of that and on one I suppose summer uh, foray we came in and we wandered into this wonderful site down here um, I was completely intrigued by this particular collection Why were they there? Well, AJ Cullis, the chief engineer, was called hastily down to the village one, one evening, 23rd of December 1909, in order to view, well, simply a landslip. The tide had come in and, of course, the River Seven, famed for its seven bore, came in and the full force of that, uh, well, the water hit the foreshore, taking away approximately 60 or so metres. AJ Cullis came up with a great idea. It's, it's been purported, and that is to bring vessels literally run them into the foreshore and in, in doing so add their strength but over a period of time would actually build up the silt and consolidate the bank. Not only is it the largest collection of, of this particular type of well maritime artifact I suppose I think what we're protecting here is a maritime way of life which has long since gone. We have schooners, England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales are represented in this collection here with the various schooners. Work boats of all sorts, a myriad of barges and lighters. But I think the real, real interest, real passion comes from the fact that what we're actually looking at now is a unique collection in every, every sort of aspect based purely and simply on their rarity. I looked at this particular site and thought, well, possibly 25, maybe 30 vessels. 13 years later, we're still finding them. 81 vessels and counting. It is a life's obsession, I'm afraid. Uh, I spend a vast period of my time down here. Free, all three of the available moments are spent here either talking about these hulks, recording these hulks, researching these hulks, wide spectrum. I don't think anything will make me stop, but I intend to dedicate the rest of my life to these old bits of wood, or as long as they're there, I'll be there.